So, welcome back to another episode of Zombieland Saga Revenge. So, in the previous episode, we had a Taya centric one, and it was really, really fun. I really, really liked Taya as a character, so it was great seeing more about her, even though it wasn't really about her past, it was just about her daily life um, and her very, very eventful day of going to get some groceries. Um, it was really, really adorable. She ended up being extremely, extremely lucky, and you guys did kind of. Uh, draw the parallel between Sakura and Taya, right? Because Taya is extremely, extremely lucky, while Sakura is extremely, extremely unlucky. So, um, that makes sense. She ended up winning the bet. You guys did also go into detail into how the bets work. So, she ended up predicting three of the placements, three of the first three placements, right? Exactly correct um, for the boats and ended up winning like 20 million yen, which was their exact debt. So, they have now settled the debt completely and they can now more so focus on their idle activities but that is only if the reporter or the journalist doesn't do anything because he has seen Taya's head just absolutely detached from her body and he thought back to the moment where he joked about uh them being zombies with his key uh, co-worker so that seems dangerous so i wonder how that's gonna come into play in this episode and also, I saw a comment, but I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, so I'm not going to say it, because just in case some of you guys are watching this along with me for the first time as well. Um, because I don't know if it's a spoiler, it might be um, from the, I think there's a prequel manga that you guys said that talks more about like Taya and stuff like that. And I saw something about her in the comments, but it might be from that prequel manga that is that was written after the anime aired. So it might be from that. But either way, I'm not gonna go into it, just because I don't want to spoil any of you guys. Um, but yeah, 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 that, I mean, it doesn't really explain a lot still. Um, like, it doesn't explain why Taya is, has not woken up while the others have and stuff like that, right? Um, but yeah, either way, either way, um, I guess we'll see how much they're gonna actually tell us about Taya in the future and where these episodes are gonna go. So without further ado, let's go into Zombieland Saga Revenge, Episode 7. Oh yeah, another thing. I'm still taking recommendations, of course, for a replacement for this anime on the channel. Um, I've seen all of your guys' recommendations in the comments already. I am keeping note of all of them. But um, yeah, if you haven't left a recommendation yet for a music anime that's going to be replacing uh, Zombieland Saga, specifically a music anime, then uh, yeah, leave it in the comments. But yeah, anyways, let's go. <laughs> ちょっと気を気をなほど。ちょうだいだい。ま、ま、ま。ここにねせ。ちょっぴり変な名前やな、なんて思ったこともあったっけ。ま、ま。ダーン。ノ、ノドグラセス。ダイヤツタ。ま
か？何何何何何？違うじゃん。運んだとかじゃないじゃん。導かれてきた的なことじゃん。誰によ。そのまま知らんわ。佐賀神社とかこの平神社とかその辺にうじゃうじゃおる。神様じゃーい。クラスンお前。やってませんって。僕やってませんってちょっと不安定すぎだろシャンなんでしやったらやったらしゃらかー Would he be guilty here of murder if this actually came to like persecution? She's alive What's happening here? She is a zombie How? How? How did he turn her into a zombie? Nice catch. Ah, I'm dead. Did you die? Did you die? Did you die? She can't see anything without her glasses. She wasn't dead? She wasn't dead. Ha! <laughs> Oh, she does? Oh, I did not notice her. But she can't see their complexion, can she? Because of the glasses. ノンシャロン。というわけにもいかのでしょうしな。大丈夫ですよ。今はちょっと顔色悪くて傷ありますけど、いつも全然ゾンビだってわからないです。Oh my god. <笑>その今回のゾンビの件なんですが、こういうことに。え？誰にも言わないでください。お願いします。ほら、お前らもでしょ？カキン。あ、she made an audible ding。私をフランス書に入れてもらえないでしょうか？え？え？私も皆さん
<laughs> Saki's like, yo, this is gonna be big cinema. Another glasses. Yo, this is not cheap. Lenses like this are not cheap. She's going through them like it's nothing. But it's gonna cost like a hundred bucks or something to replace them. Tamagotchi! <laughs> Yo, the technology! It's a backlit display, no way! This is so sudden. Hmm? <laughs> I didn't know it's a it's um, uh... I didn't know it exists. Prefects, right? <laughs> I'm still salty that they didn't evacuate the area here. Man, this is making me want to rewatch Love Live, honestly. と、だから、皆さん気を使ってメイクとかせんで大丈夫ですよ。あんなパフォーマンスができる方がよっぽどびっくりです。まだまだそっちでは貢献できんけど、私メンバーとしてできることはなんでもあります。She's cool, but she, it just feels way too sudden to add her to the team, but she is cool. I would be down, but I have a feeling something's about to happen. ああ、諦めんなさい。こんなに面白くなかもん出せたとぞ。一つくらい画期的なアイデアだって出せる。ハッキー。ダムシヘルズダッ。ああ。高性の間で話題になればさらに拡散してもっともっとフランス州を応援
まだ転ばずにできたことないですし本番までに仕上げろ主役はお前だナイス今回のステージでフランシュシュアイドル八賢人バクトライズアイドル7号をお披露目するおおマイマイちゃんできそう肉体が裏切らなければいけないそうと決まりはとことん練習するしかなかさ気合い入れろよマイマイはいつながり私の頭と肉体新生フラッシュシュ見せてやろうぜおおおお Did he find a bit of a um a bit of a fling there? Romero, whatever, whatever the dog's name is. Poor thing. Ah, <laughs> It makes sense. They need to be able to do it if they want to be a、uh, top tier idol. Yep. It makes sense. I don't know if they mentioned it. I'm sure they did. It makes sense. It makes sense. Damn, that's true. If they don't, don't become idols, what can they do? True. Nice. Ah, she's gonna drop out. She's gonna drop out. Here, she, here it is. She's gonna drop out. I can sense it. My spidey senses are tingling. <laughs> Me. <laughs> That was cute. Reiwa. I'm fairly certain that she's gonna drop out. She realized something that she maybe、uh, doesn't think of the, say, the same way that they do, or something like that. Watch me be completely wrong. She's good! I'm alive. 
Oh, that was a cute performance. That was really cute. She did it. She did it. Yeah, that is very sudden. Here it is. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yep. I knew it. Yep. My spidey senses were tingling, man. Huh? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, look at Taya just vibing. Where's Taya going? The ending! The first one, right? I watched too many idol shows. Yo, that's a nice way to put it. That's cool. Wow, this is such an incredible song, man. I think this might be honestly. It might be my favorite song from the entire series. Maybe. <笑>あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
Oh. There's no... Okay. Because, obviously, Junko... Uh, Junko, not Junko. Yugiri is old, old. She's like old, old, old. So there's no details on her death. Interesting thing is he managed to find... I don't know why. I didn't expect it. Expect him to find details on Yamada Taya, but he did. Um, that's interesting. Okay. It makes sense, I guess. Yeah, she was alive at some point in a fairly recent um, past, right? So it makes sense that he was able to find details on her. I don't know why. I just kind of expected him to not know Yamada Taya because it seems like... I don't know. I don't know. Interesting, though. But, um, okay. So this was a great episode. Hana, um, yeah, Hanaza Akana absolutely killed it as um uh, mai mai she she was great i feel like she definitely added so much character to her um and okay maybe it's gonna be the next episode that's gonna be more serious around the entire inve not investigator journal plot um and him trying to expose the girls so that's gonna be really really cool but this episode was genuinely really fun i feel like kotaro was very interesting in this episode because he was very, very, very quick to cover up any kind of murder, let's say. that Because that was definitely, I mean, as much as if it was an accident, an accident can still be an incriminating one, right? And this definitely would have been, <laughs> could have been an incriminating one, right? He dropped the soap and then someone slipped on it. I don't know. I don't know if that is enough to incriminate someone or not. I don't know if that's how that would be considered. Um, or just unfortunate circumstances. I'm not sure. But um, either way, he then kidnapped her without checking her pulse. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he made multiple uh, incriminating offenses in that one, um, that one moment. But either way, it ended up playing out nicely because Mai Mai is extremely, extremely nice. Um, and I feel like she learned a very, very valuable lesson, which I thought she put it in a really, really nice package. Like everything that she said during the backstage part was actually really, really nice. Like not just for the anime, but... Just as a life lesson in general, she was like, you know what? I'm going to give it my all in this life. And then um, I'm going to see how we go from there. But I, the first thing that I want to do is give it my all in this life that I have, right? Which, you know what? You know what? I respect that. I do respect that. So that was great. Um, but yeah, just a banger of an episode. And we are now maybe going to go into the entire plot with the reporter. Maybe. Or maybe we're going to have another episode that's going to be about something else. And th then we're going to end the next episode also with the reporter being like, I finally got it. And then the episode's going to end. I don't know, but I guess we'll see. Anyways, I am going to end this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.